Also, Rick Wershey, known to many as White Boy Rick, says he wants to be compensated for the years he lost behind bars and the danger he was exposed to as the youngest known drug informant in history. Off the top at five, it's been exactly a year since Rick Wershey went free after more than three decades in correctional facilities. Wershey says he lost things he can never get back, and he wants somebody to pay. Local 4 defender Sean Lay live with the federal lawsuit Wershey and his team filed today. And Sean, he calls what happened to him child abuse. And he's seeking $100 million. Look at this suit. It's absolutely fascinating from the lens of 2021. If law enforcement placed a 14 year old person in the most dangerous drug and gang environments, Rick Worshi tells me that's exactly what happened to him. He calls it child abuse and he's suing. That was him at 14. That's him when he got out. Rick Worshi says as he sat in a prison cell for more than 30 years, he thought about the FBI and Detroit police using him as a high-level drug informant at the age of 14 was child abuse, plain and simple, that got him shot, almost got him killed, that led to his life sentence. And I was too young and dumb to know that it would affect the rest of my life. Who in their right mind labels someone a 16 and 17-year-old a drug kingpin? This morning, Wershey and his attorney filed a federal lawsuit against the former FBI agents, former Detroit police investigators that sent him into Detroit's most dangerous drug houses in the 1980s as a minor. He was the youngest FBI informant in history. Local 4 asking why filed now. He says suing from prison, exposing all that he was made to do would not have been a wise idea. We talked about bringing this action while I was in prison. They feared for my safety. They feared that I would be kept in prison forever. And they know that they used unlawfully a child as an informant. They abused, reused this child over and over again. They didn't want that out. The suit is bringing a lot of that to light. Two U.S. attorneys and a third also named in this suit for their dealings with Rick Wershey. The FBI, we called them, we talked to them, we talked to DPD and the city. If they had any comment right now, they don't. The city says they just got the lawsuit. And the question is, what about the statute of limitations? Uh, Wershey's attorney explains it to me this way. If something is so outrageous, he says like this, and needs to be exposed right now, federal judges are now allowing those cases to be heard. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to exactly you guys. Exactly right. All right, Sean.